Well, hello, Virgos. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Virgos, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let's see what comes out for you today. This is going to be for Virgos. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so Virgo, okay, that was too many. I didn't realize I was stuck together like that. <clears throat> okay, so, hmm. High Priestess. One of the cards that came out earlier that was stuck was the um, Judgment card. It was the Judgment card. Okay. This is for Virgo. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Virgo, as of right now, you're still hanging in limbo. <laughs> This is not funny because I've talked to so many Virgos and I'm telling you the energy is just like, I'm tired. Why is this happening? Why am I waiting? Why is there a delay? I want my happiness. I want my family. I want my contentment and it's coming. Um, and, you know, I've, I've talked to people who are like, I've been waiting for a while. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's that's what almost every Virgo um, is going through right now. And it's causing so much frustration and confusion. You know, you can get to a point where you lose your faith in any of this, right? So here with the hangman, this is where a lot of you are. I see it. I get it. Okay. Now here with the high priestess, I do feel like in the past there has been, um, you know, there was some type of silent treatment, a mystery about someone, something that happened in the past that made, that makes me feel like you were... Um, I also feel like an energy of like upset. I, I know you don't really feel that with the high priestess, but that's what I feel. I feel like in the past, there was a lot of secrets that came out. Um, but to me, more than anything, this is talking about silent treatment. Like someone shut down on you. They weren't really willing to open up because part of the high priestess is something that's hidden. Um, and there were a lot of things that were hidden. Maybe not even one thing. If you were married... Um, you know, maybe you made a decision about being together or not. Because remember, this is to me, this is more kind of like a past energy. So there has been decisions made in a long term committed relationship. There's, you know, or marriage. OK, where, you know, the, the marriage was bust up, you know, the, com the connection was busted up, you know, whether you are married or not. OK, but this is more so long term. You're trying to figure out if you want to stay in a, in a connection. For a lot of you, you are still in this energy of struggling. Like I said, struggling because you're waiting. You know, maybe you still have emotional baggage. Maybe you're still, you know, feeling some feelings for someone. Okay. Now, I feel with your person, they are more so in their energy of family, home, finances, money, that type of thing. Okay. I'm not really sure if they're really about the love life. You know, they may have someone. I feel like they are. They could be in a long-term committed relationship with the Ten of Pentacles. Your person could be in a long-term committed relationship. Okay. Now, the future here with the Five of Swords is letting me know that some of you in the future will be facing nonsense still. Okay. Five of Swords is like someone is sabotaging the connection. Someone is not being honest. Okay, that's what you're going to be facing in the future. So we're going to find out why this energy is here. And I feel like it has something to do with that Ten of Pentacles. Someone is in a long-term committed relationship and, you know, they want you to be a part of it. Maybe they want you to be a secret. Maybe you were a secret in the past and they want you to be a secret again. Okay, let's go ahead. This is for Virgo. Yeah, you were dealing with someone who was coming in and out. They um, they were a player, okay? Very immature. I, I, to me, this is like very impulsive. They do things on impulse. They keep a lot of secrets. They kept a lot of secrets. And here with the Seven of Pentacles, I just feel like you really want a connection that you can invest in. That's where you were. And I feel like you've been very disappointed over the fact that it didn't happen. Um, and if you were in a committed relationship, not necessarily married, if you were in a committed relationship, the reason why it didn't go anywhere, because you were thinking about 
moving in together. You were thinking about that. And it's like the reason why I didn't go anywhere is because this person, they, they're not, you know, uh, uh, this person was not committal in some sense. They were with you, but they weren't really about committing. Let's go ahead. Let's get this for Virgo. You got new love coming in here. Got new love coming in. <clears throat> so right now you are in love with someone that and you're not you're not saying it. There is kind of this like obsessive energy, constantly overthinking. <laughs> Some of you are in this energy of like, oh my God, I can't stop thinking about them. You know, you still have feelings for someone that you haven't expressed, you haven't opened up about. Um, I also feel though, I see your person as well. I feel like your person has feelings for you. They are a player though. Um, your person does want to come in, but I just feel like they're like very hesitant about making contact with you because again, like I said, I just, it, there's this feeling that someone is in a connection. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get the last one here for Virgo. Yeah, it, this stuck together. Eggs, look at this. So I do see a releasing here. This You're, you're moving on. This is perfect because the two of wands is to me, this person is in a connection and I feel like you're just going to move on to bigger and better things. That's exactly what this showing. The tower card is like, um, releasing a breakthrough. Okay, that's what I'm saying here. There's going to be a new beginning here with the full card. Wow, this is really, really good. So what we're going to do is use some oracles as many as we can. Um, and we're going to see what comes out of these oracles. This is going to be for Virgo. I do feel like your person wants to come in here, maybe apologize for something, maybe ignoring you. Part of that high priestess is ignoring energy, silent treatment, maybe apologizing for keeping secrets and lying. I just feel like somebody is married for some of you, not for everyone, definitely not. But I do feel like this person maybe want to apologize for lying or keeping you a secret in some kind of way. Okay. Let's go ahead. This is going to be for Virgo. You're healing right now. You're doing that. So I feel like, you know, you are developing a lot of friendships. I, I do feel like maybe it, you know, maybe you're friends with this person. Maybe you were friends first. And that's the reason why you have, you know, so much love for them. Maybe you are, maybe there is a friend who's in love with you, but you're still emotionally attached to the past. <laughs> I, that's for a few of you, not for everybody. But I really do feel that right now there um, there are feelings that are not being expressed. Okay. So there is a past life love here. This person you did know in a past life for some of you. Okay. Not for everyone, but for some of you, this was a past life love. And again, look at what popped over. Obsession. I knew it. Like somebody has like, I mean, just, a, just can't stop thinking. Someone is obsessed with someone else's relationship as well, though. I mean, I have to, you know, your person is stuck in a past life love. Like they're in a connection with their person. They're, they're in a connection with their soulmate. That's what I'm saying. Um... You know, I feel like I'm not necessarily saying that you're karmic. Some of you could be would be considered karmic. I don't really know, you know, what that means. I don't really go into those terms. But I, I mean, if it's based off of what you know it to be, you could be. Or just in general, I feel that someone, either you or your person, is stuck in a past life connection right now. And this is probably the reason why it's taking them so long to detach. But I just feel like they're not just because, you know, they're still they're wanting you to compromise your morals. And here with the two of wands, you're like, no, I'm just going to walk away. That's what I see. Yeah. Look at this. Exactly. Rejection. That's the card that came out. You're going to retreat, pull back. 
and release here with this tower card. You're going to start something new with that fool. I feel like you are accepting. Ex listen, I promise you. I feel like you're accepting it, this person, this situation for what it really, really is. That's what you're doing at the moment. Okay, because there's a whole lot of red flags here. This person is unavailable. But you are going to meet your soulmate. Someone who you're going to have a lot of chemistry with. Your true love, really. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some more oracles here for Virgo. This is for Virgo. So I do see in the past you had a lot of love for this person, but and you I mean a lot of love. Um, but it was it was like it was toxic. It was just not good. There was always war. There was always crying. There was always sadness. Like this person would disappear. They would come in and out. It was that type of thing. Even if you were married, you know, even if you didn't know that there were secrets, you felt it because you knew that your part your partner wasn't acting accordingly, according to the way you knew they were acting or to be. It was very much a love-hate relationship here. So I do feel like you are blocking yourself for love right now, Virgo. You're going to have to open up to new people because there is definitely new people coming in here who want who want to be with you. But some of you are resisting. Some of you are not paying attention to um, who's interested in you because you're still having, still struggling with this past emotional baggage. So I do feel like your person, um, they got friends first. I do feel like your person is just, I don't know. I feel like they could be in a long-term marriage. They could be dealing with someone who was their friend, who's like a friend to them. And it's like friends with benefits, but a little bit more. It could be that type of thing. You are going to go into a connection where this person is going to be so sweet to you. You are going to, whoever this is that you're going to end up in a long-term committed relationship, Virgo, you're going to be friends with this person first. But remember, I'm seeing two different things. I'm seeing your person and I'm also seeing you. Your person is in a long-term connection for a lot of you. And then majority of you are going to go into a long-term connection where you, you were friends with this person. You had a good rapport. Um, you could have met them online. They could live at a long distance, that type of thing. But that's what you're going to have in the future. I feel like this person is trying to control the situation as much as possible. And I feel like they're extremely superficial. You walked away or you will be walking away in the future because you have enough love for yourself. Remember that five of swords is like, you know, do you have enough integrity? Will you be able to move forward? And I feel like you that's exactly what you're going to do. Okay? Because the universe doesn't want you to settle. You cannot settle in love here. This person is very controlling. They want things their way. Let's go ahead. Let's get um, three cards here. So Virgo, I feel like you are going to surrender. I feel like you're going to let go. You're going to let, you're going to trust the universe. Remember we talked about the hangman with you, you know, you know, being in limbo, waiting. So I feel like you are learning how to let go and allow the universe to pull you in the right direction. Yeah, I feel like this was a false, your person, I feel like is stuck in a false twin flame. That's what I feel. Or stuck in a past life connection. Okay, they could be still in this situation with their person because um, of financial reasons. It could be children. Like I said, they could be married. That could be you as well, Virgo. Like I said, that could also be you. Cross watchers, I'm sure it's going to say it in the comment section. You know how it goes. <laughs> 
Exactly, friendship. Whoever you're, you're going to end up with, I'm telling you, they're going to have hidden feelings for you. You're not going to even know. But this person is going to be so in love with you. And eventually, because they're taking their precious time, because they know that you're healing, uh, this person is going to be there for you to lift you up. But this person is going to be very sincere. But I'm telling you, there's going to be a releasing first. A lot of change in your life before this happened. A brand new beginning here. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information is inside the description box. All right, Virgo, talk to you later. Bye.